jump down the beach today um, and we're thinking about our, the next part of our story of Moses. This staff, you shall do my wonders.
the story of how the sea parts so that the Israelites could go through. Now it's very easy to take that story for granted, isn't it? Because we've heard it a lot um, and you think, yeah, okay, whatever. But actually, that's an amazing story and it's true. I think that's the thing to remember. It's not just a story, this actually happened. And I want you today to put yourself in the shoes of the Israelites people and imagine what they must have been feeling like. So first of all, they've been through all those plagues and then the last awful one where they had to hide away from the angel of death and then the next day they had to run away. They didn't have time to stop and take lots of things with them and they probably didn't actually know where they were going. All they knew was that God had said he was going to rescue them and take them to a promised land but they didn't know where that was. They didn't know how long it would take. Um, they didn't know the way so they had to just take all they could, gather it and run and follow um, Moses. And once they went away, something amazing happened, that God led them and he made a, a cloud, a big pillar of cloud to go in front of them and lead the way. So they followed the cloud. And at night, the cloud was fire. It was like a pillar of fire. And that was in front of them. And it led them and gave them light. And that was God leading them and showing them away. They didn't know where to go. And then, they got to a full stop. They ended up camping in front of the sea. And something awful happened. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, decided that he'd made a great mistake. Why had he let all those people go? They were, they were doing loads of work for them for no money. He must have been mad and he decided to chase them. So he got his chariots, he got his army, and he started to chase them. And the Israelite people must have heard him coming. Can you imagine how frightened they were to hear this enormous army roaring, chasing them? And they got to the sea. There was, there was no way round it. Can you imagine what they must have felt like? And God did something amazing. The big pillar of cloud in front of them moved behind the people and it put a barrier up between the Israelites and Pharaoh's army so they couldn't, they couldn't get through. And then something even more amazing happened. So here you are standing in front of the sea. There's no way across. You just, how on earth are you gonna to manage to escape? It's the sea, you can't get round it. You're, what are you supposed to do? You can imagine how those Israelites must have felt. And then something amazing happened. In the night, once Moses had touched his staff onto the sea, God sent an enormous wind. It was so strong that it pushed back the sea to make a little path of dry land through the middle. Can you imagine what it must have felt like looking out and seeing the path? Now, although you wanted to escape from the um, Egyptian army, I think I would have been really scared. Wouldn't it be difficult to take the first step through that tunnel of water? Can you imagine it? Put your feet on the sand and think about how it must have felt like taking that first step into the path with the sea up high on both sides of you to escape. I think the Israelites must have been really brave, don't you? And God had a plan for them. He had a plan to rescue them. Even though when they looked out to sea, they couldn't see any way out of it. They needed to trust God because he had a plan. A little prayer activity you could do with your family is to come down the beach, maybe take a picnic and have a think about the story. And then you could collect some big stones and you could either make a prayer tower where each of you find a great big stone and have a think about something that you'd like to talk to God about. It might be something that you're feeling scared about that you want to help with. Um, and then you can make a great big tower with them like that and pile them up or you could grab yourself a stone and you could think of what it is that you would like God to help you with. You might be feeling um, a bit trapped or you might be feeling that you're worried about something and you're scared and you need to be brave just like those Israelites when they stepped out onto the sand. Take hold of your stone and say the prayer to God and then chuck it in the sea. Remember, whenever you feel just a bit like those Israelites looking out to sea and that there's no way through, that God will always find a way. He always has um, an escape plan for us. He's always there. We just need to trust him and he will find a pathway through for us.